<laughs> okay. I just uh, saw an article about the fiscal cliff, uh, and this has got to be such a complete crock of bullshit. I'm sorry, but but when they bailed out the bankers and the economy, they were going to have to shut down the government, which by God would be a good thing. If they would shut down the government of America for, I don't know, six or seven years, I think that that would be a good thing. But uh, I was listening to the things that were tipping the balance then, and they said abortion. That's the thing tipping the balance uh, towards where we can't really figure this fiscal thing out. Now we're on this fiscal cliff that we're going to go off of, which I say let them go. When the bankers were asked to be bailed out, I said let them go. Too big to fail? Never mind. Let them go. Then it was found out later that a lot of taxpayers' money went to people who are really, really irresponsible with money. And and it just served them. It's like, oh, oh yeah, thank you very much, thank you very much. Six hundred billion dollars in defensive spending. And if you go through the budget, I don't know how much aid in America is given to Israel, to Turkey, to all these countries. And their aid is basically military aid, so they can defend themselves from the shit that we're sell- selling them, the weapons and things. But the fiscal cliff is a scare tactic. It's an imaginary cliff. Think about it. The cliff does not exist. The politicians have got this country so, or at least the United States of America, so deep in debt, and they've run them ragged, and they've gone in and invaded countries, and now there's this big fear around this, oh my God, what's going to happen? I'm saying, shut it down. Shut it down. Let the government fold. Let the United States fold. Let everything fold. Become completely irresponsible like you are. Don't ask for another bailout because that looks like what's coming. It looks like what the politicians are doing is saying, oh my God, we better get some more money from the taxpayers. We print it, we produce it, we make it, but we can't be responsible for it. In fact, we're so irresponsible, we're going to have to ask them again to bail out our buddies. The American people, I would say, okay, you're number one, America. Give them a big, give the politicians a big Number one, and tell them, no, let the fiscal cliff fall. Let the cards fall where they may. Quit trying to bail out your friends. Quit trying to make amends with what you've done with the bad investments and everything else. And let it fall. The fiscal cliff is an illusional dilemma. It doesn't exist. If they don't do anything, everything is going to keep running. If they do something, it will mean money out of the taxpayers' pockets. Guarantee it. How do I know? seen it before. So, oogie boogie, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh my God, we're scared to death. The fiscal cliff is coming. Let's be lemmings and push off all the politicians. Hmm, let's be lemmings and push. That may be a good idea. (laughs) I like it. www.micpeakperformance.com